Hey all you cool cats and kittens, welcome back to the panic room. I'm Cat Panic and this is Egon and today we're going to show you how to create this fabulous pink tiger base paint. And stay tuned, don't get fed to a tiger. To begin we're going to create two teardrop shapes over the eyes and white circle over the mouth. To do this we're going to use a white crivoline face paint that's water based. Next, we're going to fill the negative space between the white shapes with a pink magenta water-based face paint, also by Crivoline. We are now going to use a purple eyeshadow and we're going to contour the face under the jaw, the cheekbone, and in the perimeter of the face. After that, we're going to use a pink eyeshadow and we're going to fill in any bits that aren't as bright. Then we're going to start black lining the white shapes with the black water-based Crivoline paint as well as start the tiger mouth by extending the corners of the mouth in little teardrops and then filling in the lips. Just like a tiger, we're going to extend the nose down to the top part of the lip with a nice thick black line that's later going to be connected to the tiger nose. Then we're also going to wedge out the top lip so it all blends together. Black line the under eye area. Later we're going to fill in some of this with pink. It's just to create a guideline. Then we're going to do little lightning bolts branching from the nose down to the cheek. This is going to give us our tiger stripes. I'm painting the under part of my nose black so it matches the upper lip area. I'm going to draw the nose shape in later but this is just to give us a guideline and also to show how the makeup is going to come together. We're going to draw our dots in for the tiger whiskers and any other little small detail with the black and then we're going to draw the upper eye right above underneath the eyebrow. This is going to create the eye that's going to be open when my eyes are closed and we're going to draw little lightning bolts above that. I'm now going to start to draw in the pupil on my eyelid for the tiger eye. These are very hard to do and I pardon they're not my best work but it's very hard to do eye makeup when your eyes are still trying to be open doing it. So give yourself some time. I'm so perfecting that skill. And next we're going to take some white um, eyeshadow or white face paint and we're going to start drawing in a couple of lightning bolts as well as some hair around the eyes. Feel free to start adding your white whiskers as well as any white hair strokes you feel necessary at this time.
I decided I wanted the pink to come up closer to my natural eye, so I'm just going to fill in this white area with the magenta again. This is just going to give my eyes a little more of a natural effect when they're closed. And you can see the pupils and like the actual eye come in, into focus when I close my eyes. I decided that the pink tiger deserved a blue nose, so I'm going to start drawing in the nose shape on the tip of my nose, branching down towards the black nostrils that I, drawn, I have drawn in. And then I'm going to mimic the blue on the top of the eyes to create the tiger eye effect. I'm just going to fill it in on either side of the pupil. To make this makeup actually pop, I'm going to take black eyeshadow and I'm going to blend in around the nose and around the tiger stripes to kind of um, give it a 3D effect. Also going around the anywhere that there's a black line to really make this makeup pop. I'm going to add some black detail with the eyeshadow as well around the eyes and on the eye um, iris area. And then continuing on with the rest of the face. And then I'm going to start actually um, filling in some hair strokes as well on the jawline to kind of make those white hair highlights pop. Now I'm going to shade around the nose with the black eyeshadow to have the nose pop as well. Pop apparently is my favorite word in this makeup. And then I'm taking white eyeshadow to add some dusting on the pupils and the lip area to kind of give it a glossy look. And then I'm going to use a black fine tipped uh, brush with some makeup and I'm going to add some details around the eye before I finish the look. I'm going to connect the upper and lower eye lines to give it a nice cat um, effect. And then I'm going to finish off by adding some more details to the nose and the jaw. Now I'm just adding some more hair strokes around the eye area with the black to give some more detail, as well as outlining the white teardrop shapes we began with with some black hair strokes as well to tie everything in and to make it stand out. Then to finish off the makeup, we're going to add some white face paint dots onto the drawn on eye and some shine marks to try to give it a little more of a 3D effect. So we'll do that to both eyes and then we're going to add some shine marks to the nose by adding little white dots and then some white hair strokes around the eyes to give it a little more dimension. Finally taking some blue eyeshadow, I'm going to create a little more dimension in those eyes and in the nose just by shading in the corners. And 
there we have it, the pink tiger look, Lisa Frank inspired. Please enjoy the look and I want to see what your tiger look looks like and uh, have a great day guys. Thanks for watching.